I'll be back with you at halftime with a look at the other games that are going on. But now let's get up to Charlotte. Standing by, here are Brandon Godden and Charlotte. First down, Prescott. And he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. I think defensively, you're okay with that. And you're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And he'll get this up to about the 40. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. All right, Brandon, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. A second down throw for Prescott. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Julius Peppers in there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. And they'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Got a man over the middle, it's Williams. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. On fourth, they do snap it to Prescott. He's got his man, it's Williams. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A gutsy call, turns out to be a good one though. First down on a pickup of 11. Well, peel back the curtain, partner. We've got a pretty good look into how they plan to play this game. Aggressive seems to be the word. Going for it on fourth down in that situation. Yeah, opening drive. Now, we know this coaching staff, they have traits of aggression in their history, but what a start to this game. They're going for it. Yeah, a lot of people might say reckless, but they got it. One for one on fourth down here early in the game. Play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. Man open left side. It's Williams. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And a nice gain of 21 yards. How about the start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, he's honing in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script, however they drew it up. Sitting alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon as it is Cowboy football to begin quarter number two. They've got a second down at five here to start things out. Prescott now, option right, able to power through. He's to the 10. How did he stay on his feet? And a solid job using his legs. 16 yards and a first down on the keeper. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it, but it has been scaled back considerably. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott. A They'll start the drive with Elliott. And he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. On second down, Elliott. 
And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. But well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice, getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Mike Adams. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. On fourth down, the Panthers send out Michael Pilardi to kick it away. Two minutes to play here in the first half. Back with more from Charlotte after this. On now, the former Vol, Michael Pilardi. Out comes the Cowboys offense. The wild optimism going into last season, of course, because they were coming off that 13-3 year, but they faded a bit last year as they dropped to a good but not great 9-7. It's a good thing for Dallas. They play in a pretty volatile division, the NFC East. He hasn't been a repeat champion in the East since 2003-2004, and that was Philadelphia, who currently holds the crown right now. But this is a Dallas team that I think has worked its way through some adversity. They've lost some key veteran players along the way the last two years. So the face of the franchise, actually the face is quarterback Dak Prescott, but to me the guy who really makes them go, running back Ezekiel Elliott. If they get 16 out of him, expect Dallas to be in the thick of things. They'll run it now out of the gun. Brings it up just shy of the 25. Showed some of that quickness there on the move. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. A Dallas first down. Prescott hook it up with Beasley. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. On first and 10, Prescott. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. As the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. Prescott from the gun. And his throw is incomplete. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back, but it's a big play. They've got to hold up. On third down, it's Prescott. In a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Dante Jackson picks it. Cooper was the intended target. to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Caught left side, Williams. Touchdown, Cowboys. A big play there with his first career touchdown in his first career game. And the Cowboys are now just an extra point away. Scott looks to throw on first. Pass incomplete. James Bradbury, he was right there to break it up. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. 
On second down, Prescott again. He's going to walk one deep left side here. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in the second half. Instead, it's third down. Well, partner, I think the defensive fellas got the memo, and they decided to cover him on that play. Yeah, he's already up over 100 yards in this game. They tried a deep shot, couldn't get it. Yeah, when you've had that much success, finally, someone said, let's try and put a stop to it and put people on him. Now, yet a... Prescott on first down. And this is incomplete. Knocking it away in coverage, Captain Mutterland. He has still not connected on a single pass in the second half. And right now, they're going through all the different reasons, the whys, the wherefores, bottom line. Got to find some completions in there and get their offense moving. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, second and 10. Throwing again, Prescott on second and 10. And this time, he's got the hookup. It's complete. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Prescott now. Five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. On the left side, he finds Beasley. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And that one results in 35 yards. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that will drive a team towards a victory. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. A second down throw for Prescott. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Williams. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. From the red zone now, Prescott. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Another nice gain. 13 yards that time and another first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Now Elliott. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get them in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys! They start on the ground with Elliott. He finds an opening past the 40. And he'll finally be taken down just shy of midfield. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 at a first. He'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now. But that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. Right back to him on first down. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. They'll run it now out of the gun. 
And he gets it down to the 32. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Looking to throw, Prescott. He couldn't quite hold it, got hit. Ball pops out, incomplete. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. Well, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player, not a no chance at all. Way easier said than done. Hey, They'll run it now, out of the gun. And a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Well, Zeke's having a great game here, Charles, in the second half. What was the difference rookie season to second season? Because he went from 5.1 yards per carry to 4.1. Well, inconsistency. Remember, his second year, Zeke was in and out of the lineup a little bit, as well as his offensive line, where the front five pretty much played the entire way his rookie year. Last year, there were guys in and out of the lineup due to injuries as well. Not the same continuity. Well, things are clicking here in this one for him. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables, otherwise they wouldn't have brought him onto the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And look like some movement there. Let's get the call. Ball start, offense. The crowd's not doing that O-line any favors. Home field advantage is really kicking in, making it very difficult for them to hear the snap count. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Prescott shutting defenders at the 15. Give him seven on the play, and that'll bring up a third down. In a two-minute drill, we often talk about taking care of the football, but sometimes it's just a matter of who wants it more. How about him going up top on a 50-50 ball and taking it away for a big play? Back to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Knocking it away in coverage, Captain Munderland. Figuring they're going for it on fourth down. Remember, though, they do have all three timeouts, so even if they don't get it, all is not lost. Yeah, normally in this situation, when you're talking about having to go for it, everything is in this play. But as you noted, with those three timeouts, they actually have a little bit of a safety net. They'll look to throw. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Amari Cooper, already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. Here's Prescott, and he is in to the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. In for the score. And partner, this first week, this first game that we get to call together, so special every year week one you had the fly over the big american flag out there before the game all the hoopla just having football back so special it is an opening day opening game there's just nothing like it because you really build to a crescendo but the best part for us is that crescendo lasts for a while opening game here an entire season we get into the playoffs to the super bowl i was really excited i could barely sleep last night i can't imagine being a player Thank <laughs> you.